In this video, we're gonna cover everything a first time buyer needs to know about VoIP phone systems. I'll go over what VoIP is and explain exactly how it works. We'll cover all the common VoIP terms like soft phones, PBX, fixed and non-fixed VoIP, and we'll also talk about when it makes the most sense for a business to go with a VoIP phone system. Be sure to stick around to the end because I'll go over all the things you need to set up a new VoIP system, what to look for when shopping for VoIP service providers, and how to get the most out of a VoIP system once you do have it. But wait, there's more. I'll even give you the answers to the most frequently asked questions when it comes to VoIP phone systems. So make sure you watch this video from the beginning to the end. Before we get started, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to our channel, Business Takes, for more takes on all things business. Voice over internet protocol, or better known as VoIP, is a technology that allows you to make phone calls via the internet rather than over traditional landlines. It's perfect for most businesses because it's much more affordable than a traditional landline system. It's easier to scale, it has more reliable and higher call quality, and the overall setup and maintenance is much simpler than traditional systems. To understand how VoIP systems work, it helps to know some basic terms that'll come up when you're researching different services and providers. Understanding these terms will help you as you start to think about implementing a VoIP system for your business. Soft phones. Soft phones are mobile or desktop apps that allow you to make a VoIP call from your computer or phone. If you've ever used Skype or WhatsApp to make a call, you've used a soft phone. PBX. Private Branch Exchange, or PBX, is a private phone network set up for your business. Most can make both internal and external calls. While traditional PBXs are made up of hardware installed at your company, VoIP PBXs are software. Fixed VoIP. A fixed VoIP is one that's attached to a physical location, much like a traditional phone number. If you run a business that serves primarily local customers, you may want to opt for a fixed VoIP, as your outgoing calls will show up as a local number that can be traced back to a physical location. Non-fixed VoIP. Non-fixed VoIP is a VoIP number that's not attached to any physical location, which means it can be associated with any local area. So if your business makes a lot of calls across different regions, you might want to go with a non-fixed VoIP system as you'll have options to change the area code that the call recipient sees to match with their local area code. This means they'll be more likely to answer. How VoIP phone systems work. When you make a phone call using traditional methods, your voice is converted into an electrical signal that's passed along a landline bounced to a satellite or sent to a cell tower before being changed back into sound waves on the other end. A VoIP system, however, converts your voice into a digital signal. It then sends that signal over the internet, where it's converted back into the sound waves on the other side. This is why having a strong internet connection is crucial for VoIP calls. If there's a weak connection, digital signals can get lost or corrupted along the way. This means they can't be translated correctly back into sound waves, resulting in poor quality calls. When it makes sense to go with a VoIP phone system. VoIP systems are typically recommended for most businesses because they're affordable, easy to set up and scale, and allow for more flexibility than traditional landline systems. However, there are a few other options that may make more sense for your company, depending on your specific needs and circumstances. VoIP versus landline. A VoIP system will outperform a landline in almost any setting. This is because VoIP provides more flexibility and performance at a fraction of the cost. However, you still may want to consider going with a landline if you work in a remote location or have trouble with your internet connection. VoIP calls are reliable and high quality as long as there's a good enough connection. If not, the VoIP system isn't much use to you. If you work in a field that deals with high levels of confidentiality and extreme security, you may also want to consider a landline. While VoIP systems have excellent security features, they still rely on internet connections to work. This means that it's still possible for hackers to intercept and eavesdrop on your calls. Good quality VoIP providers will provide strong security measures to prevent this from happening. But if this is a high priority for your business, a secured landline PBX is likely the best and safest option. Cloud phone systems, virtual phone numbers, and call center software are other common alternatives to VoIP systems. Although they have many similarities to VoIP, there are slight differences that might make one or the other a better fit for your business. Cloud phone systems are VoIP style systems that keep all your data on a remote cloud, meaning anybody with access to that cloud can view that data. 
This can be helpful if you need to set up a system where people on your team can view each other's call and text data, but don't need much more functionality than that. Virtual phone numbers are basically the phone part of VoIP systems, minus all the other things a VoIP can do, like texting, video calling, and integration with other software. If you just need the phone number and nothing else, a virtual phone number could be a good fit. Call center software is VoIP software that's loaded with extra features that make life easier for call center staff. In addition to making VoIP calls, call center software can typically handle live chat, texting, social media integrations, interactive voice response, and loads more. You can even get specific types of call center software for the functions you need. For example, if you're running a customer service department, you might benefit from using inbound call center software. If you have a large sales department, an outbound call center program could be a great fit. What you need to set up a new VoIP phone system. Whether you're starting from scratch or moving from another system, setting up a new VoIP system is pretty straightforward. The first step is to choose your VoIP provider and make sure your internet connection is up and running. Depending on the type of device you use, you may have to connect a handset to a router, or you could use a soft phone, which is an app that allows you to make calls from any device. You can also use an IP phone, which is capable of connecting directly to the internet. If you're using legacy hardware, you'll likely need to install an analog telephone adapter, or ATA, to help your old hardware work with the new VoIP system. Once you choose your VoIP provider and connect your hardware, make sure you follow your provider's setup instructions. If you're migrating from another system, you'll need to request temporary numbers from your VoIP provider while you port your numbers from your old provider. That is, if you want to keep the same numbers. If you don't care about what numbers you have, you can get your VoIP provider to assign new numbers and skip number porting. What to look for in a new VoIP phone system. When considering a new VoIP phone system, you should first think about how you plan to use the system, what features are most important to you, and the number of people who will be using it each month. This will help you quickly identify whether a specific provider offers what you need, and it'll help you calculate costs as you're researching pricing options across different services. Here are some of the key features you should be looking for when you're comparing providers. Call quality, high uptime rates, scalability, security, integrations with other platforms, number porting, ease of use, and pricing. Depending on your business, you may also need advanced features like call recording, voicemail to email, and call forwarding. Review sites are a great place to start your search. Remember that one complaint could be an anomaly, but if the same complaint comes up over and over again, that could be a red flag. While most VoIP providers promise nearly constant uptime and excellent call quality, some providers fail to live up to those promises. Once you narrow your search down to a few providers, take some time to test their customer service. If they're slow in responding, you can probably assume they're not gonna get any faster later. But if they're quick and diligent in their responses, that's a good sign they'll be a helpful partner later when you need them. Do your research when searching for the best VoIP phone services and products. But if you want to save time, you can go with our favorite VoIP service provider, Nextiva. With high quality customer service, free mobile and desktop apps, and the best and most popular features available for VoIP, all at a reasonable price, you're not going to be disappointed. There's a link in the description below. Be sure to keep Nextiva at the top of your list when it comes to your next VoIP provider. Best practices. How to get the most out of a VoIP phone system. Once your VoIP system is set up and running, you'll want to be sure you're using it to its fullest capabilities. Here are some of the best practices when it comes to getting the most out of your system. Use good hardware. The quality of calls you'll get with a VoIP system depends on two things, your internet speed and the hardware you're using. While you don't need to spend exorbitant amounts for your setup, you should plan on investing in some decent handsets, headphones, or computers to use with your system. Set up call forwarding. One of the main benefits of using VoIP is that it can follow you anywhere you go. Be sure to set up call forwarding so your staff can make and receive calls from the same number regardless of where they're located. Explore your VoIP system's features. Although some businesses use VoIP just to make and receive calls, most utilize the vast features available to users. Be sure to take the time to look into your system's advanced features, even if it's something you may not end up using from voicemail transcription and document sharing to ring groups and warm transfers. A VoIP system offers much more than traditional phone systems. Train your staff. Most VoIP systems are fairly intuitive, but if your staff is new to VoIP or if they're switching over to a new system, take the time to train them properly. This is especially important if you've customized your VoIP or if you want your employees to make full use of the features. 
bring your communications under one roof. If you're switching to a VoIP system, consider consolidating your communications into one system. Many VoIP providers will let you do voice calls, texting, video calls, and voicemail transcriptions on one platform, making it easy to keep track of messages and avoid the confusion that can result from using multiple channels for outreach. VoIP phone system, frequently asked questions. Now let's go over some of the most frequently asked questions when it comes to VoIP phone systems that we haven't touched on yet in this video. Can I use the phones I already have? If you want to use a cell phone, you should be able to port your VoIP number to the phone or download an app to use it. You can use a landline phone with a VoIP system if you put an ATA on it, as this will convert the digital VoIP signals to an analog tone, so your old phone knows how to interact with it. Can I keep my existing phone number? As long as the numbers are in the same geographic area, yes. The FCC requires that companies allow you to port your old number to a new phone. But keep in mind, some providers may charge a fee for this service. Is VoIP better than a landline? It depends on what you're using it for, but generally, yes. VoIP is almost always more affordable, easier to use and maintain, and more scalable. As long as you have a good internet connection, VoIP is probably going to be a good fit. Can I replace my landline with a VoIP? In most circumstances, yes. The only reason you wouldn't be able to replace your landline with VoIP is if you live in an area with very poor or unstable internet, or if you have very high security needs. While a physical private branch exchange provides the highest level of security, a VoIP is going to be more than sufficient for most needs. How much does VoIP cost? VoIP costs vary depending on the provider and features you opt for, but they're typically around $10 to $40 per user per month. Some providers may offer volume discounts for larger businesses. You might also get discounts for paying annually rather than monthly. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment or a question down below if there's something about VoIP phone systems you want to share or that we didn't cover in this video. And if you're looking for a high quality VoIP service provider at a great price, be sure to check out the link for Nextiva in the description. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.